Assalamualaikum students. This is Avian Yusuf Imam, your English teacher from Horikali High School, Shunatala, Bogura. Hope you are all fine by the grace of Allah. Welcome you in my English class. It's a class of class 10, unit 11, lesson 2, Renewable Energy Sources 2. Can you remember your last class? In our last class, we discussed the first stanza. Now, we will discuss about the rest of the part. Okay. After reading this text, you will be able to say about present condition of natural energy sources, infer the meaning of context, ask and answer question. So, to enjoy this class, stay tuned. Now, I am erasing the board. In, I think you have no problem about your last class. If you have, you can uh, uh, comment at the last portion of the uh, video. So, at the very beginning of uh, this class, I am going to write the keywords uh, like other classes. Hmm? words consumption consumption c o n s u m p t i o n consumption noun shown shown noun noun sometimes we eat it's a kind of consumption so uh, an action of using up a resource an action an action of using up of u s i n g using up a resource resource then we have another new word barrel B A R R E L barrel noun barrel equal to one hundred and fifty nine liters L I T R E S liters barrel means barrel equal to one hundred and fifty nine liters indicates in D C A E. Indicate verb transitive indicate means I am indicating this lesson. I am indicating class 10. So indicate means show, indicate means point out, point out or show sufficient. S U F F I C I E N T sufficient adjective sufficient. I think you have sufficient light to see the board, or the handwriting is sufficient to understand or to see the board to understand the. Uh, to see the board. So, sufficient means adequate, enough, enough, E-N-O-U-G-H, enough. Then, alternative, alternative, adjective, alternative. For example, you have two pens. You have two pens. So, if you lost one pen, you have an alternative option. So, one of two or more options. Alternative means one of two or more options. More options. We can take a screenshot 
So consumption noun and action of using of resource barrel noun 159 liters indicate point out or show sufficient adjective enough alternative one of two or more options okay no i am erasing the board like other classes in this class you also go through the rest of the part of the textbook and after your reading i will give you some short question and you will do your best to write the answer okay let's start uh, in this part you will see that our world is changing and we are developing we are uh, uh, inventing new new things and in this case in this case the energy sources plays the energy sources play a great role if we want to do any work through a, a machine we use electricity so in every step of our life energy sources has a great um, has a great impact so uh, we now we are using um, hydrocarbon petroleum so after a period of time this petroleum reserve will run out the uh, developing country will increase their um, uh, development work two times faster so the industrial country must have to think for another option to meet up their uh, energy energy so the key thing of this text is to think for future uh, meet up future demand of energy if we fail to meet up future demand of energy our growth our uh, civilization will stop will stand still so we have to think for alternative energy sources now you will go through the text and uh, i am going to write some questions for you and after reading this text you will write answer to the questions okay short question s h o r t short q a e s t i o n s short questions what is the major factor of change in the history what is the major factor of change in the history in the history history number 2 what will happen in the economy of developing country what will happen in the economy in the economy of developing country of country what will happen in the economy of developing country what is the number 3 what is the consequence of global economic growth what is the consequence of 
consequence of global economic growth growth number 4 what is daily petroleum consumption now what is daily petroleum what is daily petroleum consumption now what is daily petroleum consumption now number 5 what is the bottom line of kalam's speech what is the bottom line of kalam's speech what is the bottom line of kalam's speech now write the answer of the question within 10 minutes okay hope you are you have done this now match your answer with my answer i think these are very easy these questions are very easy because uh, you get the clue you have already get the uh, clue from the textbook okay answer number 1 what is the major factor of change in the history at the very beginning of this stanza the energy sources have always been a major factor of change throughout the history so what is the major factor of change in the history the major factor of change in the history we start to write from here the major factor of change c h a n g e change in the history is a s t o r y history is history is the energy sources is the is the energy e n e r g y energy s o u r c e s energy sources so the major factor of change in the history is the energy sources is the energy sources okay number 2 answer number 2 what will happen in the economy of developing country here in a line you can see developing countries will grow their economies about two times faster than industrial countries this is the answer what will happen in the uh, economy of developing country so we can write this line developing countries will developing countries will grow their economies developing countries will grow their will grow their economies grow their economies about two time faster about two time faster 
their industrial countries to turn faster than industrialized country in the realized countries countries developing countries will grow their economic economies about two times faster than industrialized countries okay Answer number three. What is the consequence of global economic growth? Here you can get a line. After this question, global economic growth is expected to continue at three percent per year. Per year, global economic growth. So, what is the consequence of global economic growth? Global, the consequence of global economic growth is expected to continue at 3% per year. The consequence of the consequence of global economic growth the consequence the consequence of global economic growth is expected to continue is expected to continue expected to continue at 3% per year at 3 percent per year the consequence of global economic growth is expected to continue at three percent per year per year okay Now the answer number four. Answer number four. What is daily petroleum consumption now? What is daily petroleum consumption now? Here uh, we can see if uh, the world's daily petroleum consumption is two hundred twenty million barrels now. So the what is daily petroleum consumption now daily petroleum consumption is now daily petroleum consumption now daily petroleum consumption now is 220 million barrels 220 million barrels barrels we know one barrel equal to 
159 liters 159 liters so it's a can you imagine 220 million barrels means how many uh, how much liters <laughs> really it's a massive amount okay now answer number five what is the bottom line of Kalam's speech the bottom lines what is the bottom line of Kalam's speech here is the answer the bottom line of Kalam's speech indicates the concern of mankind in the 21st century so the bottom line of Kalam's speech is the bottom line of column speech is the concern of mankind the con of mankind in the twenty first century. The bottom line of Kalam's speech is the concern of mankind in the 21st century i think you have written all the answers of the questions and uh, your most of your answer has matched with my answer i am erasing the board and uh, I, today we discuss five questions from this part that is from the second stanza and in our previous class in our previous class we discussed the first stanza so in the first class we discuss about five questions and in this class we discussed about five questions so we have already discussed ten questions from this text and you have another six questions here and a table these six question and this uh, table is your homework i think after uh, exercise uh, after uh, reading these questions and answering these questions or practicing these questions you will be able to answer any kind of question from this text okay so now your homework is page number 144 questions one to six and c question one to six and c okay dear students this is the end of your class for this day in our next class we will discuss another new topic till then stay home stay safe thank you